So I want to show a very simple uh, bare bones uh, installation of upgrading the FP VRL Stage 2 to uh, having amplifiers. The issue I had was I could go you know, many times up to a mile with uh, this directional antenna, um, but sometimes at 2,000 feet or 3,000 feet, I would lose my uh, Wi-Fi signal and I'd lose my video feed, uh, which was a problem. So the amplifiers are a pretty good solution. Uh, to do that, you need the uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz, uh, two and a half uh, amp um, unit. Uh, this one is by Sunhands. And you need for the RC signal, since you're gonna boost the uh, Wi-Fi, I might as well boost the RC. Um, this is a uh, two uh, watt, um, 5.8 uh, gigahertz amplifier. It's ranges anywhere, I believe, uh, from, it says 5.15 to 5.85. So this is sufficient. I even saw some two and a half uh, amp units, but since uh, my FPV was the problem, that's the one I wanted to boost more. You also need some uh, strong uh, uh, adhesive to stick it. I'm using the Scotch Extreme Fastener I got at Home Depot. It's uh, pretty good. It's very strong. It sticks like that. And it's pretty tight bonds and you'll need a battery unit to power it. This is a uh, 3000 milliamp hour battery unit. It has uh, two connections. It's uh, 12 volts, uh, so it should give the uh, uh, voltage output that's needed. A little switch and I fasten the adhesive onto the back and I'm going to fasten a piece of the adhesive over here. And then I have adhesive for my amp unit here and an amp unit there, but you can arrange it however you wish. And what you're going to do, where it's going to go, is your Wi-Fi unit is going to have an output. And the output's going to go to your 2.4 gigahertz amp, and that's going to go to the antenna for the Wi-Fi. And similarly, you're going to have your 5.8. Um, you're going to have your RC signal, which is going to go to your 5.8 gigahertz amplifier, and that's going to go to the directional antenna. Um, and then, of course, your battery is going to power both of the amplifiers. So here they are in the boxes. And here is the unit. This here, of course, is a modified uh, controller. This is the... Uh, Wi-Fi booster and it has the uh, cloverleaf and it has a directional uh, hemispherical antenna both with the uh, uh, connections. I'm going to use my directional, ant uh, my, uh, directional antenna here, the uh, semisphere, as the one I'm going to boost and of course the RC signal coming out here, I'm going to boost this one. So let's start with, uh, I guess, the Wi-Fi. So it comes in the box, take it out. A 316 cable with the SMA connector. Um, it comes with a six uh, DBI um, on the directional antenna which I'm not going to use since I already have the uh, first uh, upgrade kit. Here is the, uh, the cable. And here is the amp. And it's... to the antenna. And here it says to the radio. And I put some adhesive right here on the back. So just going to unscrew here.
So here we have the first connection. So again, it's coming from the Wi-Fi. Coming around into the amp, from the amp to the antenna. And now the radio control unit. Comes with its connector, SMA connector. It does come with its own, these do come with their own power source. But again, I'm going to use my battery for portability. And this is the 5.8. This will go to the radio. So I'm going to disconnect my radio connection. And that's going to go on here. I have adhesive here. I'm going to put my antenna connection here. Now the battery will just attach here. With the appropriate power cables. And that's all there is to it. So here it is underneath. Powered on. And turn on the Wi-Fi. And then I would switch on the amp. And uh, that's it. With this, I was able to easily get two miles without losing my RC or my Wi-Fi uh, connection. Um, not that I'm ever really planning to go that far, but I'd like to at least know that in the short distances that I go, I'm going to have a reliable, uh, clean signal.